thank God for that. Where's the chat? Yo, Rod. <laughs> I have um, been trying to sort this out for the past friggin' half an hour and could not get my phone to rotate. So, yeah. I figured it out, finally. So I'm just gonna have to read the read what you guys are saying off the screen. So yeah, just want to come on tonight and just have a chat about this Ranger. If anyone did watch it, um, <laughs> that I get what Ford was trying to do with that um, with their little VR sort of deal, but it was uh, pretty shit to be honest. That whole experience, I think. So yeah, but if you guys have got any questions and stuff or anything regarding the Ranger and what I think of it or anything to do with the Ram or the F truck or anything else. So am I loud and clear, Ivan? <laughs> no joke. The laptop, the phone, the camera equipment was about to go out the window about five seconds ago. So yeah, I'll just try and fix this up again so I can read your questions. Yeah, V6 twin turbo. Um, I think that that is a good that is a good deal. That'll be a good a good thing that will. So sweet. Now I've got your questions right here in front of me. Perfect. Oh my finger. <laughs> so um, long story short, it's probably been about twelve months, but I had a black line that kept growing through my fingernail, and it ended up being that the doctor might have thought that it might have been a melanoma so we um yeah we had to cut that out last friday so yeah <laughs> just get a troopy <laughs> i yeah i want to get another four-wheel drive i just i was going to buy another 80 series but um not another 80 series i was going to buy an 80 series but then i had to put the turbo on the f250 so that kind of stuffed that idea up, but <laughs> the outdoor me. It wasn't dirt. Uh, because that's what I kept thinking. I was like, is that a splinter or but it was actually a black line that would grow out of my fingernail, it would go away, and then before the black line had start, a few days before, it had like ache like all like crazy. My finger it was it was pretty painful actually. But um yeah, the new Ranger, I do like the front end of it. Um, I think that the motor's finally got a V6 diesel, which is good, so. But yeah, keep asking questions, guys. Um, I know I've been getting some messages about the Ram when I'm gonna be doing the Waybridge on the Ram. Um, I'm waiting on a a way sensor to show up in the mail it should be here any day now so i can film how much the the ram weighs and that way i can do kind of weights and stuff here um at home with the f truck and with anything else any other vehicle i do i can do that so so was the interior less plastic than the current I don't know, mate. It was like super quick that launch. Like there was no details of really anything. There's a lot of YouTubers tonight right now about an hour ago putting out all the information and details on it. I haven't watched too much of that um, from anyone else, but just from what Ford put out and I just wanted to comment on what they did with the VR thing. It was kind of trippy and I don't know if anyone else noticed it, how it was so... Um, just it wasn't clear or anything like that definitely wasn't like 4k so yeah it was a, it was a pain but hey phil how you going mate how's um how's things over there heard rumor dodge is leaving australia um i don't think i don't think ram trucks is would be leaving 
because they're doing really well for themselves. I know there's a massive supply issue with Rams at the moment, but that is a big a big drama with those trucks. But as in leaving, where'd you where'd you hear that at? I like the new screen on the Ranger. The new um the new screen looks friggin' awesome. It looks really cool. Hopefully it's nice and um it's not glitchy and stuff like that and it works really well and hopefully the um Raptor's not too far away as well. But I'm hoping that the Raptor's gonna have the new stuff. Basically when they had the first gen V eight um one in America they had the same shocks that we have now on the Ranger, and then when we go to Gen 2, hopefully when we get Gen 2 Ranger Raptor, we'll get all of the um, electronic um, suspension and stuff like that. So that'll be pretty cool. Not too bad, just waiting lockdown to finish so we can get out of Auckland. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Look, we're, we're out now, but um, it's still just... I'm sick of wearing masks and it's getting hotter with summer and stuff like that. So that's a pain in the neck, but yeah, it is what it is. So, but <sighs> Nora, it was not dirt and you know, it wasn't dirt, but yeah, the new Ranger, um, I, they didn't, it was kind of really a weird launch. Normally they'll kind of go through all the details on the truck and everything like that, but it was more just like an experience of being um, in the truck and around the truck. But it was, if you had a VR headset and it was 4K, it would have been pretty cool. But through my phone, it was it was all um, glitchy and the quality wasn't very good. And yeah, so, but anyway. But yeah, if you guys got any more comments, drop them in the in the thing or anything you want to ask me about anything. I haven't heard any uh, details on the engine um, as in regards to, I haven't looked at any of that stuff yet. I don't even know if they've posted any of the, the details. I know they've just said that there is a V6 diesel now, which is, which is really good. Um, I saw something to do about Dodge 2. No mention in the commercials, just, cars i think yeah so dodge and ram trucks are like they're two separate things now um they're still under chrysler but yeah i think dodge cars might be going away for good now um, but ram trucks is just ram trucks so it's not like a dodge ram anymore it's just a ram truck um they've taken the, the whole dodge away from from that so the raptor is the one to wait for. Yeah, Phil, absolutely. The Raptor, um, I'm hoping we get bigger board shocks. I don't think we'll get the new trailing arms that uh, the, the current gen Raptor in America has, but fingers crossed. But I think uh, hopefully we get all the new uh, live valve sort of tech and stuff in the, in the shocks and that, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I mean, the new Raptor, yep. I think that's what we're all hoping for when we'll watch that video tonight, is, is hopefully the new Raptor comes out. No news on the 3-litre V6. Yeah, well, that's it. It was, I, that was probably the worst vehicle launch I think I've watched in ages, and I'm pretty disappointed, actually. I thought it would have been way more in-depth and like being like a normal sort of car launch where they kind of give you way more details about what's going on rather than just <laughs> here's a VR footage of the new Ranger and like I get it, it was cool what they were trying to do but execution was just terrible so sports model looked better than the wild track <laughs> yeah I think the uh the sports model um I, the wild track just doesn't do it for me. Um, it's uh, it's kind of you spend it, especially XL XLT as well. If you're gonna go and get a Ranger, I just get an XLS and then use all the money that you'd normally spend on an XLT or an XLS. I mean, an X, uh, wild track, sorry, and do all your accessories with that extra money because all you're paying for with the XLT is pretty much just chrome and other bits and pieces like that. So I'd save your money and just buy an XLS. Would it buy a wild track? 
and um, yeah, kit it out how you want. If you're going to run things like um, canvas seat covers and all that sort of thing, then you're kind of just wasting your money with a wild track, I think. Belinda, hey Ty, where are you thinking the next trip will be and when? Well, we're supposed to go to um, October. We're supposed to go up to Queensland and go to Fraser, but that just didn't end up happening. So, unfortunately, because um, of the borders and all the rest of it. Um, but as soon as that opens, yeah, we'll be going up to... Because um, I haven't been anywhere since the Simpson. Just come back home and done a lot of work to the truck and just been working and stuff like that and with lockdowns and everything else going on. So, um, yeah, we're supposed to be going up to, uh, to Fraser for a trip. So once the borders open, that's what I'm going to be doing. Love the squared look. I'm assuming you're talking about the Ranger. Yeah. I like, uh, the, um, the new, the new front end is way more squared off than the, in the old one, especially that the headlights and everything, they look really cool. Ivan, did you see the big iPad in the middle of the day? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I seen that on um, uh, Car Expert. What's his name? Uh, is it Paul? I think it's Paul. Yeah, I seen that when he they put that up of the Everest that they seen um, one of those test mules in a car park, and they had the they had the screen covered up, and they pulled the screen down really fast when he was um, near the window and stuff. But that screen looks sick. I think they're going hopefully Ford. I really do like the Ram interiors. Ram has stepped up interiors like way better. So I hope that um, Ford goes down that road with big screens, a lot of soft touches and stitching and leather and stuff in the cabs. Hopefully they go down that road because the um, the Ram's interior, I think, is the best, even better than any of the Ford trucks or anything like that. I think Ram's got it nailed on the head now with interior. They're, um, they're killing it. And if they're not killing it is in their seats. Their seats are really uncomfortable. I don't like Ram seats, but the attention to detail they put into an interior is, is pretty good. So, Wondering if the 3-litre Ford engine from the F-150 or 3-litre from the Volkswagen, apparently they're going to have a shared platform F-150 3-litre has discontinued. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Ford's going to do the chassis, suspension, and Volkswagens, they're going to be using a Volkswagen engine. That's what I reckon they're going to be doing. Um, but again, they could um, they could use that that F one fifty. Is it the EcoBoost um, diesel engine? But my guess it's going to be a Volkswagen engine, and the rest of the body and everything's going to be done by uh, by Ford. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Shut up, Rod. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm trying. I'm um, injured at the moment, so I've been um, trying to get some more videos out, but the past couple of weeks here at home, it's been raining like flat out, and I've got the Can-Am video up, in case any of you guys are interested in Can-Ams. Um, my Polaris stuff does really well over time, the videos on the Polaris's and stuff, so I thought I'd just do a review on that while I had a, had a chance, but the F truck is going to MITS tomorrow, so pretty excited about that, so I'll have a video coming out probably um, in the next week, um, yeah, stripping the whole truck down and starting, starting again, doing a whole new setup, whole new power setup, um, just things that I want to change, and yeah, so that should be pretty, pretty exciting. Take F series over Ram anyway. Yeah, mechanically and long long term, I'd take an F truck over a Ram as well. I just think that Ram's new their new generation in the DTs and their um, interiors look just they're just a lot better than the Fords I reckon at the moment. Um, I just like the interiors, but for longevity, I definitely want an F truck because Ram again just a Chrysler product. So yeah, but. But as in those engines, maybe it could be um, a collab between Ford and Volkswagen with those motors. But I think it's probably just going to be a Volkswagen engine and um, Ford will do all the body work. But I'm, I'm hoping that they do put a V6 twin turbo in the new Raptor that comes 
because um, that that truck just deserves a better engine. It was really let. It was a letdown when they put a two liter in it. That's for sure. It definitely wasn't something to. Uh, yeah, like it's 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 not a bad engine. The two liter. It's just it's overworked, especially for that truck. And um, I don't know if any of you guys have watched the video on that V8 um, Ranger Raptor that those guys, I think they're down in Sydney or Melbourne, did. Um, they dropped that um, that Coyote 5 litre in it. That was pretty sick. So, fuel prices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate. Fuel prices are ridiculous at the moment. I went and filled up. Um, it was $2 a litre for petrol the other day. Couldn't believe it. It's ridiculous. They're setting up. For hybrid and full electric, this will be the future for the this size vehicle on like the big rigs and F trucks. Yeah, I think so. Yep, hundred um, percent. I just wish we could have some sort of electric vehicle, Ivan. Like all these Utes that have been, I think Ford is like the only one that's actually produced an electric, a fully electric um, Ute right now. The rest of them have just been all talk like. I think Rivian is finally starting to deliver their utes, um, but Cybertruck, haven't heard anything about that from Tesla. Um, uh, the Nikola Badger, I don't know what is the go with Nikola, but it seems like that's all just a big hoax, that company. I don't know what's going on with that business, but yeah, I don't think that thing's happening anymore. So there's all these announcements of these trucks coming out, but then they just never, they never do. So... Fuel prices I topped up yesterday it was a dollar ninety. <laughs> and I was dollar ninety, or you mean a hundred and ninety? But yeah, I filled up. I filled up one of my cars the other day, and it's petrol. I've got a little Subaru Daily. Um, it's a turbo thing, um, just for running around. Paid seven hundred and fifty bucks for it. But yeah, I filled that up the other day. You can only put premium in it, and it was yeah two bucks a liter, and I couldn't couldn't believe it. It's come back down to a dollar ninety now near where I live, but yeah. <laughs> Rod's having a go at me. Wash your mouth out. Yeah, I'm 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 a fan of electric trucks if they work and there's a way of recharging them. Or even hydrogen trucks I think would be really cool. But again, like hydrogen's like dangerous and shit and all the rest of it, but I I would buy an electric truck if it was a viable thing but right now it's like if i wanted to pack up here in my electric truck and and head to the simpson it's not happening so and especially like a market like australia you've got so far in between anywhere that fuel is really the only option electricity here is not an option for really vehicles like if you're driving up and down the highway or you're just driving in the city but if you're going to do remote style touring in an electric vehicle it's 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 not going to happen here. Um, yeah, they'd have to spend so much money on infrastructure and stuff like that for charging stations and and all the rest of it. And anyway, you could do the Simpson electric vehicle and take a generator with you. And at that point, you might as well just have a normal truck and burn fuel. So, Rod, hundred and ninety. <laughs> what were you filling up, Rod? How much to fill the F truck? Um, the F-Truck's not, not too bad. Um, with the long-range tank, it's bad. But um, it's like, it's only like the F-Truck standard tank is 100 litres. So whatever the price is of diesel right now for 100 litres. And then I have an extra 150 in the in the back tank. If I fill up both, I'm up around the $400 mark if I fill both tanks. So, yeah, it's a 100-litre tank in the F-Truck. So whatever the fuel prices is, that's how much it costs to fill it. So... Just take a generator. <laughs> yeah. Sun everywhere, solar panels. Yeah, I don't know why electric vehicles don't have like solar panels or anything like that built into the roofs and things like that. There was this really cool paint. I'll see if I can find it and I'll share it on Instagram, but it was like an electrically charged paint on the on this Jeep JK Wrangler at SEMA and they were turning it on and off and the lights were in the actual paint of the of the Wrangler. It was so cool, but if they could do something like a a solar metal flaked 
paint that was electrically charged so the whole vehicle was like one circuit where the paint is actually recharging the battery i think that would be pretty cool and i'd probably say we're not too far off something like that but um i think that's the only way you do with the solar thing is to try and get the the paint to somehow have solar micro solar crystals in the whole paint and then the body is actually absorbing all that energy but i'll see if i can find that thing on those the lights that were built into the paint on that um that jk wrangler i'll share on instagram later when towing three ton with the f truck what's the fuel economy like it's actually pretty good daryl it's um like if you've got a 200 series 200 series are using what most people what i've heard of are like 22 liters per hundred things like that if you're towing a big van but the f truck i'm sitting around 18 if i'm towing my big plant trailer behind me um it can increase depends on what you're doing if i'm going up a hill and stuff like that or climbing a lot of um hilly terrain that can creep up to the 19 but right now it'll do about 18 18 um per hundred towing a, towing a heavy trailer they just there's so much torque there that the engines just they don't work hard they just kind of chug along which is really good so AEFJ camping and touring 260 to fill the FJ whoa you must have a big tank on that FJ to um yeah 260 bucks Ivan, the reason is like peeing in the ocean to recharge the battery. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And when you get in this, when you get in the power from coal-fired power stations, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. You're better off to use the car you've got until it dies, than sell that and go and buy a, an electric car, thinking you're doing something for the environment because you're not. You just they still got to mine all the all the stuff for the batteries and everything. So you better off to keep the car you got, run it into the ground until it doesn't go anymore, and then buy a new car rather than try and trade it out for an electric car, thinking you're doing something for the environment. But yeah. You got a Chevy, Rod. I don't mind. I don't mind the Chevys. Um, I think they're a little bit dated, especially the twenty five hundreds and the thirty five hundreds. They're definitely a little bit dated. Um, I think they're about to have an update interior wise and stuff. But um, the only thing I got against the Chevys and the GMCs is torsion bar front ends. Like the nineties called, and they want their torsion bars back. <laughs> but yeah, if Chevys Chevys need to have. A Dana axle in the front. They should be a solid axle in the front. I don't know why they're torsion bars, but anyway. Hi, mate. There was a company called Frisker that had electric cars with solar panel roof. Yeah, I've seen it in the past. Some companies have done it, and then it kind of just dies out. I think that whole... I think the, I think I'm on to something with the paint thing, so maybe that should be my invention. But to have a, a solar-flaked paint that absorbs the light, I think would charge the batteries pretty quick because you're getting all those angles of the sun over the whole thing. I think that would be pretty good. Will Burr, what's your opinion on the new Ranger? Mate, the new Ranger, I I like it. I'm disappointed that it's still running the T6 cab and everything. Um, but, yeah, it's... I want to wait for more details to come out about the motors and stuff like that. Um, I haven't really got on social media tonight. There's been a lot of like car advice and car experts that have been posting up about it. I haven't had a chance to watch those and those guys will probably have all the info. Ford probably sent all those guys the info on different things. So I'm going to watch them when I get off the live tonight and um, yeah, drum up my opinion on it. But I like the front end. Front end looks good. Um, I, I like the interior somewhat we seen from Ford's video, which wasn't very much, but I liked the interior. I liked the screen. That looks really cool. Um, all the seats and that look like they've all been freshened up, all leather and stuff now, which really looks really good. Um, the new tub shape looks really good. So I'm just waiting for the uh, the Raptor to come out. I'm super, super pumped. Um, yeah, because I'm hoping that we get the new, um, either the 3.0 shocks with all the live valve tech um, I'm hoping that that comes in the next one. FJ, 172 litres. That's not bad. 
how many how many Ks? Because because FJ is a, a petrol. I, know, I nearly bought an FJ like back in two thousand and oh two thousand and ten. I nearly bought an FJ and up ended up buying a Prado because I had to use it for work and stuff as well. But because they were petrol, that put me off. But how many Ks do you normally get out of one hundred and seventy two liters? Hey Jack, here you go, mate. How much for that rim and tire set up behind you? I'll take four for my Everest. Well, that's um, method have. Well, so I bought this tire. I already bought. I bought Falcons um, for my old seventy eight truck uh, before Method um, or Race Wheels Australia contacted me, and I've been a massive supporter of those guys for ages. Um, so. I'm going to swap these out, um, these tyres for Toyos, uh, but that's the actual, that's the spare for my 78 truck, but I think you can get a tyre and wheel package from Racehorse Australia for probably, oh, about the kind of five grand mark. They're normally about 500 a wheel, but they are the best. I've been running them since like 2009, 2010 when they first, when they were first, Method Race was the first launch. I've ran them on all my cars and they're really, really good rims, so... And now they're helping me out with the channel. Just got a brand new set of 37s for the F truck, the big truck. So I'm going to be putting them on. I've got a cool video coming out. We're going to smoke the hell out of the set of 37s on the F250. So um, I'm going to get one of my buddies to come up and help me film that. But yeah, we're going to we're going to smoke these out, these are uh, 37s, the BF Goodrich tires that I got because they're they're pretty much buggered. Um, and we'll uh, go and get the Toyos put on. So yeah, that's going to be a cool video. F250 doing a big burnout, but I'll probably do a burnout, put another set on the back, do another burnout, put another set on the back, do another burnout, <laughs> and smoke the whole lot, so. Rod, yep, agree about the Chev front end. Yeah, the Chev front end, the new one looks funky as. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I just, yeah, the only thing putting me off Chev is the, um, is the uh, torsion bar front ends. They just need to be live axle, or if not, IFS or something like that, like the 1500s are. But the 2500s, 3500s, I'm pretty sure are all still running a torsion bar setup. So, yeah. But, yeah, so I've got Method, Method Race Wheels um, are on board with the channel and stuff now, which is really cool. Um, the guys are giving me Toyo tyres, so I'm going to run a set of them. Having not ran Toyos before on any of my vehicles. Um, I ran BF for most of the part. Um, I did used to run Nidos every now and again. Um, didn't have much luck with Nidos. I kind of end up destroying them because I used to do a lot of mining work and stuff like that. So Nidos used to get destroyed up there. And then I just converted to BF and I have been running BF tyres on everything for probably oh, eight, eight, nine years now. But um, going to go to Toyos, try something new. Hey, if I get them for free, why not? So, but they've given me, I do have a new set of wheels and stuff coming for the big F truck. Um, I'm still waiting on them um, and also a set of new mud tires for it. But because I'm going to sell the 20s that are on the big F truck now and we'll be going back to like a 17 on that truck. Um, still with 37s, but just want to get more, more side profile. So they've sent me a set of Toyo um, RTs for now. So just like road train style tyres, so, yeah, road terrain, all terrain, dickhead. <laughs> Being an American living in Sydney for the last 20 years, I can tell you Chev was the ute to buy in the 90s. They're not the company they used to be. Chrysler is the same. They've always been crap. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. I think Chevys back in the day were a really good truck. Um, I think they've, yeah... I just have it, I don't know, with General Motors and Holden going away and stuff like that, I, um, I'm not really a Chevy fan, just, I'm not a GM fan, really. They're a nice truck, but they just wouldn't be for me. i definitely go an F-Truck for reliability, and the 6.7 is more reliable than any other motor in a, in a heavy-duty truck right now, so they just, they go forever, and, um, I follow another guy, um, powerstrokehelp.com, and he's had, um, yeah, a friggin' million mile trucks coming in the door on the six sevens uh, F trucks. So yeah, I'm a fan of, of like old old Chevys. They look cool, um, but also like the old F trucks as well. They look they look sick. So 
My old F truck's about to get torn down. Um, it's another series that is coming on the channel. We're about to tear the whole truck down and we're going to be um, going through the whole thing. Chassis all getting redone. It's getting um, trailing arm suspension put in it. We're getting bigger um, eye beams and stuff in the front end. We're going to be running uh, 4.0 shocks. Uh, we're going to be running big wheelwood brakes. We're going to be running a new 7.3 Godzilla Ford motor in it. Um, we're going to supercharge it. So a little bit different, not so much of the camp and stuff, but this is a, a, a build that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. I've had the truck, I've had that 78 truck now for about, oh, probably coming on four or five years. So it's, um, it's time. The big F trucks all done. So gonna get the new the new setup on it uh, this week next week down at Mitts, but um, I need a new project so the old F truck's gonna get um gonna get cut up. My old Chev is an old nineties. <laughs> yeah. What about restoring an old F truck with a modern equipment? I'd watch that. Yeah, well, mate, my seventy eight truck is about to get turned into a luxury pre runner, so luxury interior. Like I said, trailing arm suspension, um, we're going all out. So it's going to be a really, really sick street legal pre-run. I'll be the only one in Australia. So um, that's why you guys need to get on my website and buy some merch so I can pay for it. Because right now it's going to cost me a lot of money and I don't have any money. <laughs> I'd, only, I'd only butt an F truck if those types of trucks my grandparents had in 2019 Ram 1500 sold in 12 months. So they bought a Ram, did they, Will? And then they sold it again. Yeah, 1500 If you're going to do touring, don't buy 1500 That's just my opinion. Um, if you're going to do touring, buy 2500 You're going to get uh, solid axles, front and rear. Ram 1500 they can't carry anything. Um, yeah, I would not buy 1500 if you're going to do any sort of touring. If you just... If you just um, you know tow the boat on the weekend and stuff like that, or tow your your caravan every now and again, but if you're going to do touring, definitely go twenty five hundred. But yeah, I wish I wish Toyota would bring the two hundred in a chopped dual cab. That's what they should do. Or we should get the new um, Tundra. I think the new Tundra here would sell like crazy. And I, I think our uh, creative conversions would be out of business if they brought the Tundra here because I don't think people would give it two hundred chopped anymore. I tie my boss has an F two fifty with a seven three. That thing is unreal. Been tuned. Is that so? He's got the new seven three petrol motor, Brad. So that's like a brand new F two fifty. Is that right? I've heard good things about those new seven threes, and that's why I want to put it. Um. That's why I want to put one in the um the new truck I'm getting supercharge it. <laughs> right, but I don't need two thousand t-shirts. Man, I've got more than t-shirts. I've got um, I've got patches and stuff now. I've got um, what else have I got? I've got canvas bags. I've got like canvas draw bags. I've got um, stubby coolers. I've got those um, four G antennas and stuff like that. I'm just looking at everything on my shelf right now. But yeah, I've got a bit of stuff there, and that just that just helps. Um, Helps with me on the weekends and stuff, doing the videos and things like that and editing and yeah, because if a video doesn't get a lot of views, it's kind of, it's, it's disheartening <laughs> and you spend all day editing a video and then it doesn't do real well and it's, it sucks, but that's just YouTube. That's the way it is. So how's the property with all this rain, mate? Um, it's not too bad. Um, we've got more rain coming. I know that. I just watched the news tonight and it's not looking very good, but it's not too bad. We haven't had nowhere near the rain that up towards the valley has had Tamworth and all that where it's all flooding and stuff. So it is coming this way, but it's not going to affect me where I'm at at this stage. So unless we've got a lot of rain here and it floods the road and stuff again, um, if you haven't seen what it's like when this place floods, just get on my YouTube and, and go back some videos and I've got a whole deal of when it floods here on my property and it's just, it's insane how much water we get. And um, we get stuck here sometimes, so. 
The new Tundra front end is the ugliest front end ever. <laughs> I I actually like it. I yeah. I'd have to disagree with you. I like the new Tundra front end. Um, I think it looks looks pretty good. Yeah, we had the ram and sold it. Didn't like the way it towed compared to the two hundred. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Is was the two hundred chopped or anything, or was the two hundred just uh, just a normal standard two hundred? Yes, Nora, and beautiful packaging. Yes, my missus has done some very nice packaging and stuff. So, how many horsepower? Um, what are you talking about there, bud? Are you talking about the um, the new truck, um, the seven three that I'm going to put in the um, the seventy eight truck? Um, if you're talking about that horsepower wise, I think with the supercharger on that, it's not hard to get that seven three over a thousand with the supercharger on it. It's pretty easy because it's such a big motor. So, yeah, <laughs> you're wrong. Yes. <laughs> probably wrong but yeah mate yeah probably over a thousand i reckon i probably won't push it that hard i'll probably i don't know a nice a nice 750 would be good definitely wouldn't want to go over a thousand you're just asking for trouble then and i don't have the money to fix the engine if it blew up so probably a nice 750 would be good supercharged um, i think that'd be pretty good just a standard 200 wagon with a j max gvm oh yeah sweet yeah, the two hundreds are a good. They're a good tow pig. They tow. They tow really well. Um, the Rams, um, the Ram fifteen hundreds. They have their place, but they're more just weekend warrior driving around town. And for the guy that just wants an American truck but can't afford a twenty five hundred or a F two fifty. So yeah. They're, they're, they have their place in the market, but definitely not in the touring side of things, I don't think. They can't carry enough weight. The wheel bearings are the size of a, of a Commodore's wheel bearing. Um, yeah, they're just not they're just not designed for it. So they're just designed to tow your boat on the weekend. That's about it. Hi, Ty. Did you take the 15-litre Bushman fridge on the Simpson trip? If so, did you did it work all right? I think buy one. Yes, Daryl, I did. Oh, the 15-litre one. Are you talking about the little console fridge that I got a while back? Um, or is that, or is that a typo and you meant to say 150 litre? Um, I, the only thing I, if you're talking about that small fridge, the only, um, thing that I've done with that is, uh, using it in the Polaris actually. And also in my, um, day to day car, just the run around. I have it in there with the, uh, that blue eddy battery pack, just keeping drinks and stuff cold. That's really all I, I use it for. I haven't taken it on a trip. I want to actually integrate that into the um, the new 78 truck that I'm going to build. I want to integrate that into the cab somehow, um, into the center console, so I have a fridge in that truck. So, yeah, I did not take it um, on the on the Simpson trip, but they are a good fridge. Bushman fridges, I have not heard one bad thing about a Bushman fridge, and they sell so many of the damn things. So if there was a if there was bad things about Bushman fridges out there, you'd know about it by now. But they're a good fridge. I've got my 85 litre that I have the upright in the F truck, just taking that out. I'm beginning a new 130 litre upright Bushman. Um, so yeah, put in the new setup. But yeah, good fridges, man. You shouldn't have any drama with those fridges. No, the Power Stroke V8. Oh, you're talking about the, the Power Stroke one. So you're talking about the, the 7.3 Power Stroke. Yeah, they're a good, they're a good motor. They're, um, you can get those things, you can get those things going pretty hard. When are you getting a new Mahindra? Um, unless Ruthie's going to sponsor it, never. <laughs> um, yes, the little one. Yeah, mate. Yeah. So, yeah. Mahindra. Mahindra are trying to be, they're trying to be a uh, total land cruiser. That's what they're trying to be. So, but, yeah. I think that, um, yeah, uh, I'm. My thoughts on the Ranger and everything after watching the video tonight. Um, I like everything so far. I'm just disappointed that it's still on the T6 platform. Um, other than that, everything else looks pretty cool to me. I just want to watch a few more videos and try and find out the stats on the motors, um, the transmission. Say they're probably just going to run the 10 speed, but um, yeah, that's where that's gonna 
at. Um, but yeah, it's I'm surprised Toyota hasn't had anything with the Hilux yet. I know they got the SR five and stuff, and um, what's the other? What's the is it the Rugged X? But I'm surprised Toyota hasn't gone all out and done a full TRD sort of um, at least two point five inch sort of suspension setup with Fox shocks and stuff on a Hilux yet to compete with the Raptor because. The Raptors are just, they're really hard to get at the moment. You've got to order them. It's like an eight-month wait. Um, so I'm surprised Toyota hasn't done anything with the uh, the Hilux yet. Buy a new Mahindra tractor and get a free. <laughs> Is that the deal? If that's the deal, I'll take that. Um, yeah, I Mahindra, like Mahindra, they, they actually make good stuff. That's the thing. They're just not... It's not an attractive ute. It's not a ute where you walk into a showroom and go, that's the one. That looks awesome. They just, they look hideous. They're, they're just a, they're a means from A to B on a farm. That's about it for any farmer that doesn't give a shit what his ute looks like. Um, it's just cheap and does the job basically. So that's my opinion on Mahindra. Um, yeah. The only thing I don't like about the new Ranger is the full digital speedo. But then again, I'm old school. Yeah, well, it's things. Things are always gonna continue to change like that, and um, I do like a, a cool stack um, uh, taco sort of uh, setup, especially the the Raptor. I love the the taco with the red dials and stuff. That looks really cool. Um, but everything's going digital now, and it's only gonna make stuff harder to fix. And it, it's it's just the way it is. Um, I'm keen. I really want to... I've been trying to do a lot of Ranger videos because I'm trying to... They actually... Ford actually reached out to me and they sent me a bunch of content when I did a few other videos. They didn't send me anything for this launch, I guess, because they probably have things lined up with Car Advice, um, Car Expert and all those other normal um, car review people. But they did send me a bunch of stuff um, for the little launch they did recently with the camouflage and stuff i didn't really make a video on it because it wasn't really much to talk about so um they didn't send me anything for this um but i'd love to be able to even when the raptor comes out because um yeah like my raptor videos from when we were doing them on the channel um have done really well like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views i think my review of the the ranger raptor the 12 month review is up to half a million views or something like that so i'd love to be involved in the ford um raptor launch if it does come i'd love to go down to melbourne or to alice springs or wherever they do it and actually drive the car and that'd be pretty cool but um yeah wishful thinking so do you know if ford released any info on the suspension lethal coil in the rear yeah mitch mitch so if you go back a few of my videos i did a video on all my speculations on the new Ranger. Um, I don't know if you're talking about the Raptor or the, the current Ranger, just the base Ranger. The the one they launched tonight, it's it's Leaf Springs again in the rear end. It doesn't have the coil set up. So um, I mentioned that in another video that I did, but that's on my channel if you want to check that out. But um, if you're talking about the Raptor, um, I'd say that we are going to get I'd say my predictions are we're going to get the 3.0 shocks with the live valve tech that'll be integrated into the computer and everything in the truck so it knows um, how fast you're going, it knows when you hit a bump, it knows when you're cornering, it knows like pretty much all that sort of stuff. So I'd say we're going to get the 3.0 shocks with live valve um, and I'd say we're probably still going to be running the watts linkage and stuff like that in the next gen and then probably the generation after that we will get the trailing arm uh, suspension and stuff like that hopefully fingers crossed uh, but that's my predictions on on the raptor um and i think ford's doing that because they're they released the first gen f-150 raptor then they released the second gen raptor then we got the first gen of the ranger raptor and they're basically i think they're using the f-150 in america to to test the stuff that they're doing and then once they know it's sweet they're then giving it and handing that tech down to the uh, the Ranger Raptor um, for Ford Australia to, to put that stuff in in those trucks. So, saw on Twitter it has a rear locker and hill descent. I've kind of cons 
considered uh, trading in my Ram 2500 power wagon for something smaller, but this isn't enough to get me to go down. So are you talking in the Raptor there, Doc? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about the, just the Ranger? Um, do we have, are you in Australia, Doc, or are you in America? Because I don't think we have the power wagon here in Australia from Ram Trucks. I could be wrong. I haven't I haven't checked on their website on what they're selling, but yeah. Don't trade your 2500 in for a little V6. <laughs> I've heard about you guys going down. <laughs> you guys are savage. <laughs> yeah, that's true, dog. If you... What mode is in the power wagon? Is that... Is that a... Is that a petrol or is it, um, yeah, let me know what motor's in that thing. But yeah, I just want the friggin' Ford Ranger Raptor to come out. That's what I'm waiting on. I want the Ford Ranger Raptor to come now. So anyway, guys, I've been on for what, 46 minutes. So I'll probably finish it up in about, I don't know, four, four or five minutes. So if you've got any other questions, drop them in there regarding anything, Ranger Raptors, F-250s. The um the build we did on the uh the the ram I am weighing that I'm just waiting on the the way cells that I bought I was gonna go to the way bridge but it takes me like an hour and a half to get down there and I just thought I'm better off to buy a a way cell uh, like a load cell and actually have it here that I can weigh any vehicles that I do on the channel I can weigh heaps of other stuff then so I thought that'd be the best option um, because yeah to go all the way down there just like it's a three hour round trip just to go and weigh the truck. I said, no, I'll just buy a weigh cell then I can weigh heaps of stuff. I can weigh the F truck, which is a video that I just have not had time to do. Um, so yeah, but I think the Ram, weighing the Ram is probably the most important thing at the moment. Um, I know heaps of you are waiting for that. So I'll get that out as soon as I can. See you, Ivan. Hooroo. Nighty night. There, D. <laughs> it's been entertaining even if most of you guys swing the other way. <laughs> yeah, I want to do more of these lives um, with you guys, especially um, because the amount of questions I get on YouTube in regards to different videos that I do, because I just try to do a, a whole bunch of different things. I want to do some more lives so I can answer more questions on a live because I get a lot of emails and stuff like that. And I just, um, with work and everything, and I don't do YouTube full time, so it's just... It's just something I do for fun on the side, but um, answering all those emails takes up a lot of time. So if I can do more lives with you guys, and I'll, I'll kind of get in the schedule of letting you know when I'm going to do it, maybe a, a couple of days out, I'll, I'll put a post up and let you know I'm going to go live and you can, yeah, figure out what questions you want to ask and stuff like that. So, Daryl, hi mate, is the new shed finished yet? No, <laughs> it's on the back burner because I've hurt myself and... Um, yeah, it's on the, uh, it's, I've got most of the steel out there. I've got all but all the posts uh, stood up, um, but we are building another shed here on the farm, which is kind of priority at the moment. So the slab's all done. Those guys have all done the slabs. Um, but yeah, putting all the steel up and stuff at the moment. And then I've got to order a hoist. So I want to get a new hoist for the F truck that I can drive on. Um, I can also drive the Ram on it and other bits and pieces and um, be able to do all that sort of stuff. So that's where the shed's at, at the moment. Why do you think Volkswagen didn't do much in the way of upgrading the Walkinshaw edition? Because Volkswagen is completely useless and they don't want to do anything and they haven't done anything in... Oh, how old's the Volkswagen Amarok now? They haven't done nearly no upgrades at all to that thing. So I don't think I don't think Volkswagen really care. I think they just want to sell, sell utes. That's all they want to do. Um, and now partnership with Ford... Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen there between Volkswagen and Ford, um, what the Volkswagen Amarok's going to look like or if they're going to change it or, or how that deal is going to end up. But I'm interested to see what happens with that too. Next time, talk about the <laughs> T60 LTV. <laughs> Definitely not talking about China. China Utes. Ram 2500, 6.4 litre petrol front and rear lockers, factory warm winch, sway bar, disconnect, it's really thirsty, I bet it's thirsty, fills up 27 
gallons and might get three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you got old Joe Biden to uh, thank for your fuel prices over there at the moment. I can't believe how much he's paying for fuel. It's ridiculous. But where it's it's having an effect here, and people that don't have what happens in America has an effect here. You use it, it does. It has a massive effect here. It's just a, it's a flow on effect. So that's why we're paying for high fuel prices at the moment as well, because no one's doing anything about it and stopping the prices going up. So I was watching the Ranger reveal, knowing eventually it was coming here in the US. Just trying to see what's coming up eventually. Don't think we will get the Ranger Raptor though. Yeah, Doc. Oh, I don't know. Um, you just might get it. Um, you have got the Bronco. I was full on board with the Bronco until I seen a few of the stuff from... Um, oh, what are those guys called? Uh, I'm having a mental blank. Anyway, you all know who I'm probably talking about. They do all the reviews on all the new trucks and everything. They're the most popular truck. Um, YouTubers um, until they said about the, the roof and stuff on the Bronco I was all keen for it until the roof squeaking and stuff like that and the door issues with the opening the door and the glass and stuff but I'll probably still buy one even though they have those issues but I hope that um, yeah hope Ford brings that here but as in the Raptor in America you just might get it if there's competition with the Colorados and stuff there in America I think you'll probably get it so Someone said the Walkinshaw Volkswagen was over 100k. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that is ridiculous. For a bunch of stickers is pretty much, I think, all you're getting for that. 100k worth of stickers. Travis, yeah, definitely interested to see what Volkswagen and Ford can come up with. 100%, mate. Um, it'll be, yeah, be interesting to see what, what at, like, now that the Ranger, we can see what the Ranger looks like what Volkswagen's going to do with theirs, whether it's a, just a, like if they're going to run on a T6 platform and it's just going to have different badges and stuff and a different front end. Um, yeah, but I'm interested to see what happens with that as well. The new workshop and the hoist, geez, my neighbours wouldn't know what to do if I could have the same. It wasn't working on my truck in the driveway. Of the Rod, trust me, dude, I am so sick of laying in rocks. I do that every time I service my F-Truck. I'm not living in luxury here at all. I just, I just can't do it anymore. The, like it took me, I had to replace the transmission pan on the F250 and I couldn't do it for about two weeks because it was too dry and too dusty and I didn't have any kind of sealed area that I could do it where dust wouldn't fly up under the transmission. So it's just, it's a nightmare when you've got to lay in the dirt and, and service your stuff and you can't do it because of the weather or the rain or the dust or things like that. So. This has been a long time coming, this shed, trust me. Yeah, walking shot Amarok's are 75 to 90k, depending on the spec. I don't know why you're buying Amarok for that price when you can buy a Raptor. Um, and if you haven't driven a Ranger Raptor, go and drive one because it will blow your mind how, how they're like a go-kart. They are so freaking good. Yeah, fast lane truck, Jack, that's it. Yep, couldn't remember what they were called, but yeah, fast lane truck. Those guys do some awesome stuff. Um, especially with all the new truck updates and those dudes are a whole network and they're crazy they're posting every five seconds but um there is more leg room for rear passengers i currently have a raptor uh due to change the vehicle in six months this will be the first blowout. yeah well i don't frank i don't think it's going to have more room mate because it's still um on the t6 uh, platform so it's still the same cab so that's why I, that's why i'm disappointed because i wanted to see a new friggin a new cab like a, the, the truck deserved a whole new update but i think they might have been might have had cold feet with changing the whole vehicles considering how much success they've had with the um the t6 platform so yeah i don't think you're gonna get more room unless there's been a, a seat mod or the some of the cab has been changed internally, but I think it's probably going to be the same. That's why I like American trucks, because you have so much room in the back. Travis, would be great if Ford are able to bring their F-150s and actually make them affordable for people earning under 100k a year. 100%. Um, I think Ford Australia has been sitting on the fence, and they don't really know what to do with the... 
Has he got the Ranger? Is the Ranger going to have a major impact if they sell the F-150? Is it, are they going to lose sales there or vice versa? How's that going to work? But I think um, they've been just watching Ram and seeing what happens with Ram. And I think now that, I think is, is it AS, ASM or something? in I think they're in Queensland. I think those guys are now discontinuing Ram because they can't get stock. And they're now importing F trucks instead because they can get F trucks. So I'm not too sure if they're doing both, but I'm pretty sure that they now got F trucks. I seen the other day on Instagram, they now got F trucks in their lineup as well. I think they're, they're a converter here in Australia. So, but yeah, Ford would make a killing if they brought the F one fifties in in right hand drive, hundred percent. If you don't trade it in, I'm shipping my Ram to Australia in late 2022 to put a train canopy. That's how I found your channel and subbed. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, YouTube's YouTube algorithm right now sucks. Like it really sucks. And I've just I noticed a spike um, when I was about ten thousand, um, coming up towards about fifteen thousand. My channel just grew really fast, and now it's just kind of plateaued. Videos aren't doing as well, so. I do have a fair bit of stuff up my sleeve. I've got about three or four videos that I think are going to do really well. Um, and I think you'll you'll like those. So I appreciate you subscribing and interacting on the channel and commenting and all the rest of it. Um, I love responding to you guys. So yeah, keep it up. I know the feeling I've gone my own business workshop being at home with nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, Rod... Well, funny thing is, is that we have a big workshop here on the farm, but it's full of so much of my old man's crap that I can't get to the hoist that I bought about six years ago because he has so much crap in front of it and it would take me all weekend to pull everything out of the shed and clean it out so I could use the hoist. It is a four and a half ton hoist, but it is a, it is a two poster, so it's a bit sketchy with the big truck and... I want to I want to buy a new hoist, set up my own shed, so I can actually I want to start doing more people's builds and stuff. So um, the Ram videos did really well, and um, I think because the Rams are a lot more popular here than F trucks at the moment, because Ford's not really doing nothing. Um, I think that there'll be more opportunities there for me to use the workshop and stuff, and use a hoist with it with doing Ram builds and stuff like that. So. I had the same bad luck with the Bronco. And then blokes, yeah, I was keen on a Bronco until they kind of put me off it a little bit. But I'd probably still buy one. I'd buy a um, I'd buy a two door, um, probably an orange one. And um, I think in a, in the long long term, they'd be worth a lot of money. You can't even find old Broncos now in Australia. Um, there's just none. I'm kicking myself that I didn't take the opportunity to buy one. This guy wanted ten grand for it. Ran, drove about a year and a half ago and I passed it up and I'm a dickhead. I shouldn't have done that. I should definitely have bought that thing. So, Travis, Aussie trucks need way more room inside the cabs. 100% Travis, mate, just go and buy an F truck. <laughs> Either an F-150 or something like that. Um, because once you go to an American truck and... and either travel in it or long tour like it's they're so comfortable the trip that we did me and my daughter across the simpson to alice and back was so comfortable being in a big vehicle like that and plenty of room for everything so no worries travis <laughs> <Doc. laughs> yes i do I don't know how the missus would like that, but um, yes, yeah, so you see a lot of YouTubers and a lot of YouTubers in Australia, young guys my age, using their missus as promotional tools on their thumbnails to get more clickbait stuff. Um, maybe that's what I need to start to do. So yeah, so here's a review I did on something, but do you like my girlfriend in her bikini? <laughs> it's, it's the best way to get clickbait stuff. I hate clickbait stuff, but it's just the way it is. It just, it works. So, yeah. Any word on GVM or GCM? Um, are you talking about the new Ranger? If you're talking about the new Ranger, I, don't, I haven't seen any specs yet. I just watched the video and just wanted to get on here and see what you guys thought and if you've watched it and stuff. So, 
We haven't got that many people on. I think we only got like 20 or well, I think we had 30 a minute ago. But yeah, I need to do more live streams so I can get more more of these on here. But I don't know GVM or GCMs on the new the new Ranger. Honestly, looking forward to the workshop and builds coming up. Uh, me too, Rod. Me too. <laughs> Take that from Troy Candy. <laughs> Glad you get and avoid clickbait stuff. Just keep it real and you'll be fine. I oh, know, mate. Yeah, it, it does. It does. Yeah, I try to... I've changed... My thumbnails were just always really clean and just an image and stuff like that. But I found that when I when I put a bit more effort into them and um, do some cool writing and stuff on there, um, they do get, get more traction. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately um, with the thumbnails. Nice and bright and colourful. Um, and I've, I've started with a little bit of stuff on how to get more people to click, um, regarding on what I write and stuff like that. And, but yeah, I definitely don't want to do clickbait stuff. If you click on it, I want to be giving you the, the information that you want or the review that you're after, um, and not just waffling on about something else or what I did during the week for 20 minutes. And then you get the information at the end of the video. So that's not what I'm about. So I just can't be bothered to do that stuff. That stuff frustrates me when I watch it. So I definitely don't want to do it, do it for you guys, but I think we're doing pretty well. We're, we're up nearly around 17,000 subscribers, and um, it's been a slog, but I've enjoyed every moment of it. So, Do you buy into any truck giveaways, draws? Uh, <laughs> Travis, I'm at, I am at LMCT Plus. I don't know what they call it. Is he a, like a loyalty member or whatever? Yeah, I am in them. The Raptor that was getting around on Instagram, I did enter the Raptor, I didn't win it. Um, but yeah, I I don't um I don't buy a lot of tickets and stuff like that or gamble or anything like that. So twenty bucks a month or whatever it is for that is that's my little gamble sort of thing that I do with um with my money. Um, I don't bid on horses or anything like that. So I just enter every single one of those draws and yeah, see what happens. So Righto guys, I'm about to get off. Um, my missus is giving me the rolly eyes face, so <laughs> she wants to talk to me on the phone. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll do some more lives and I'll let you know when I'm going to post up and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight. Um, I answered some questions you might have had, so but I'll let you know when I'm going to do another live and um, get your questions ready and stuff like that. So I will catch all you guys in the next video. So. See you. Catch us all later. Hero Rod. Hero Jack. Hero Travis. Hero Doc. Hero Nora. <laughs> See you guys later. Catch us. Bye. You gotta try to turn this thing off. Oh.